Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Monday morning, uh, we have severe weather to talk about. I know, again, uh, this is not what I would call a particularly high-end severe weather event, but we're going to have to be very, very watchful, and we will be. I just uh, counted up. This is the seventh severe weather event that I've covered for you in the last 12 weeks. That's a busy El Nino winter. And I also counted up the rainfall. At the Montgomery Airport, there has been about 26 inches of rain, actually 26 and a half inches during that same 12-week period. Some of you have had more than 30 inches of rain. Let me tell you, I'm getting a lot of, um, a lot of practice for my new job at Blue Water Broadcasting, which starts on April the 1st, where I'll be covering severe weather for you, not only across their eight radio stations, but also visually. We're building a TV station in the radio station, so I'll be able to come to you visually on your computer and on your phone. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of what's going on today. Are you ready? The red line on the map is the warm front, so we're now getting into the warm air sector, and already I see some thunderstorms that have my attention. Portions of South Mississippi into Louisiana that we'll be tracking. Here in Alabama right now, the early morning radar showing mostly light showers from about Bibb County on northward, a few showers developing in West Alabama. For most of us, though, I think it'll be a dry morning commute. Here's the weather map at noon, low pressure developing across North Mississippi. The front is draped down to Jackson, Mississippi. That moves eastward, and by 6 o'clock, the low is around around Huntsville, Alabama, with the front southwestward to Mobile and the severe risk right along the front. So the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather now, basically as far north as uh, Marion, Montgomery, and Eufaula, with the stronger slight risk across the coastal counties. That's where the better threat of spin-up tornadoes will be, but we have a non-zero threat here in central Alabama as well. We're looking at uh, future radar, and you can see as we take you through the morning hours and into the afternoon, it gets busier and busier. That last frame is at 5 5 o'clock in the afternoon with a squall line through western and uh, actually central coming into central Alabama. And at 9 o'clock tonight, that has moved into the eastern counties from, let's say, uh, Lake Martin on south to around the Enterprise area. At midnight, the heavier storms have moved into Georgia. And then uh, the severe weather risk would include severe thunderstorms, damaging winds 60 miles per hour, perhaps higher. A brief spin-up tornado or two can't be ruled out in either the marginal or severe uh, the slight risk area, quarter-sized hail, and mainly an afternoon and evening event. Let's say from noon in the southwest counties to about 9 o'clock in the eastern counties. 1.2 inches perhaps around Montgomery, 1.0 around Dothan. You can see a lot of places are in the 1.4 to 1.0 range. You get the idea. All of this happening during Severe Weather Awareness Week in Alabama, and that frequently happens. It's a reminder that we need to start uh, preparing and thinking about severe weather, and things are going to get busier. But later in the week, we have some nice weather to look forward to. The cold air retreats, the ridge of high pressure builds in the upper atmosphere, and we get some really nice weather. So mid-60s today, mid-60s tomorrow, with sunshine returning tomorrow, and then sunny Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look at Thursday's high 70, Friday's high up to about 73. That's the start of some really nice weather. So we'll look at the European model out 10 days. That blue bar down there at the bottom showing 1.7 inches on the European model. And then look at those remarkable weekend temperatures ahead and even beyond the weekend. And maybe another storm system bringing scattered showers around February 23rd, 24th. This is the GFS, out 16 days. It shows an incredible period of warmth, especially Thursday through Sunday. No Arctic air intrusions through the end of the month, through March the 1st. So, um, you know, this is some good stuff. We're looking forward to some nicer weather and some nicer temperatures. All right, for the hundreds of you, perhaps even a couple of thousand of you who have not been here for the last six severe weather events that I covered, I'm going to be very busy in that room over there in front of several computer screens pushing out extra severe weather information at two particular sites, the Rich Thomas Weather Group on Facebook and also on uh, Twitter at Rich Forecaster. That's where the information will be going out as quickly as I can possibly get it to you. Hopefully your weather radio will be turned on and you'll be weather aware all day long. We'll get through this as we've gotten through all of them. I'll see you in the morning again with the next video and of course I'll be here all day with severe weather coverage. Rich Thomas Weather.